Hi guys, uh, I was going to call it quits on the videos for today, but I came across another subject that <clears throat> I decided <clears throat> I wanted to talk about. Um, here in Connecticut, we have a child governor for a week, I think it is, or for a day. Uh, elementary school, this, this is an 11-year-old girl, and she takes over, you know. Uh, she, I think they run for a governor with their, uh, and their, their classmates vote for them. It's, it's a nice thing. You know, it's cool. Um, it makes them check out, you know, so they can check out the, uh, our democracy, how our election process works. How it, it actually teaches them firsthand how our election process works. It's great. So, here in Connecticut, our uh, child for a day, uh, governor, or governor for the day, is an 11-year-old girl. Okay, now here's where it gets interesting. Uh, she wears a rainbow bow tie and she's very short hair. I thought she was a boy at first. Every, my girlfriend thought she was a boy. Um, and she identifies as a lesbian at 11 years old. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say about this. I'm a liberal, right? Um... There's the concern that the parents are influencing this decision. Um, I see a youngster. I think I got shaving cream in my hair. I see this girl is incredibly smart, uh, amazing, smart, well-adjusted, caring. She's making uh, animal abuse her topic. Um, you know, whoever is raising her is doing a great job. She's an extremely intelligent girl, probably way ahead in her class. Um, so me and a friend had a conversation, me being a liberal, my friend being very conservative, uh, was, she was very offended by it. Um, with me, I, I don't know if the parents, I remember having a, a girlfriend, the same person that's a conservative was my girlfriend back when I was 11. So I was able to know, I knew at 11 apparently that I did like, you know, I knew I liked girls. A lot <laughs> you know I had crushes so I could under I guess I could understand that uh, this girl would have feelings to you know what she'd know but here's where I don't I don't you know I don't have an answer for this it makes me feel not uncomfortable but I don't know I, it would have never happened back when you know 30 years ago Here's the thing, her uh, her rainbow bow tie, and she just said on, on our local TV that um, she's representing the LBGDT community. She's 11 years old. Um, and yeah, it would be a concern that she's being immersed in this culture awfully fast and perhaps learning stuff that she's lear it's learning too young. Um, I don't know. My friend... My conservative friend said, uh, "Oh, they must. She must be. It must be a gay couple raising her, and they're making her gay." I disagree there, and we still haven't found out yet. If well, you guys could help me look it up, um, Connecticut Junior Governor. Um, I'm willing to bet it's a straight couple, and they found you know it's probably pretty easy to tell that their their, their little girl liked other little girls. Um, now as for the, I think her being so outward about it, in one way it's very freeing. You know, she's out of the closet early, she knows who she is. But it's going to probably be, bring a world of hurt down on her for a lot of people that can't handle that. I, can, I can't imagine what, you know, people whispering and pointing and, you know, I don't know, you know, um... There's a lot of questions there. I believe people, gay people are born, and it's not a choice. I don't know how it works. I don't know why. I don't quite understand it. This is what I believe personally. I believe, first of all, I believe it's none of my business. Um, this girl is intelligent, smart, a go-getter. She's doing probably, she's probably in the top 2% of her class. So it's, not, it's none of my, obviously things are going good for her. Uh, academically, and you know, there's I, sure as hell doesn't look like there's any child abuse. Um, I really don't see it as a, as my business. Um, I think 
by her being so outward about it. And there's, and you do, you don't want to say there's anything wrong with just being who you are and being proud of it. But on the other hand, at that age, it's going to bring a world of uh, crit criticism down on her, you know. And by the time she's 13 or 14, she'll have taken a lot of abuse, uh, unfortunately. Um, that, just off the top of my head, that could lead to, to possible drugs, drugs or drinking. Um, she's going to have to be a very, very strong girl to, uh, to make it through the next 10 years. Um, it's a tough question, man. Oh, maybe not for conservatives, because they'll be like, you know, the parents should go to jail, and she should be taught to be straight and get a boyfriend, and get a little boyfriend. I don't believe that. Uh, and I, I believe it's, I, bottom line, I believe it's none of my business. As long as that child isn't being abused, and she's got, she's in a great, uh, good, great, loving home, and she's doing great in school, and, you know, physically, she's in great shape, emotionally, then it is not any of my freaking business or anybody else's, um, you know? It's a, you know, the th like I said, the thing that stuck out was you guys have to see a picture. I'll try to get a picture and put it on the thumbnail. Um, you know, it, it, it was kind of stunning, shocking even for me to see such a small, young girl uh, so immersed in the culture. With the rainbow tie, the butch haircut, um, looking like a little boy. It was a little, you know, it seems awfully early to be immersed in that, to have picked a whole lifestyle, um, you know, to have dove into that whole lifestyle. I don't know. I don't know what else I could compare it to. Um you know, I was going to say something about hard rock or heavy metal people dressing, but that's nowhere. That's ridiculous. Um, I, I wouldn't even know what to compare it to. Um, what if a little boy decided he wanted to be a priest? How about that? And he started dressing like a priest at 11 years old. Yeah, that, that might be a little disturbing too, you know, because he might be too young to make that decision. So here's my final word. Right or wrong, I don't know. I, I don't think it's really my business as long as the child is in, is in good health, smart, being not being abused. I don't. I don't believe it's really other people's place to to, to join in. But I believe that being immersed, her parents letting her be immersed into that culture at such an early age is going to bring a lot of problems down the road. Unfortunately. I mean, in a perfect world, you're just you, an eleven year old could be whoever the hell they want. You know, they could wear a uh, elephant costume if they wanted, but it's not a perfect world. Um, you know, I I really don't know if, if her being so immersed, so outward with uh, this lifestyle, so immersed in the lifestyle transgender, bisexual at 11 years old, uh, gay, and knowing all that at 11 years old. I, I, I had a good little girlfriend, but I don't know if I, I don't think I knew any, any of that, or I don't think I even wanted to know any of that at that age. It's interesting, interesting question. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and also, I, uh, Connecticut uh, junior governor, I, I I mean, it's none of our business, but I'd like to see what, if, what her parents, if her parents are just a, a male and female couple. You know, again, none of our business, but curious. All right, have a good Sunday.